Okay, guys, this is my attempt to uh, flash the multi module module inside my radio using the radio itself and the bootloader that Mike uh, wrote. So I don't, I'm not using any uh, screen capture uh, program to this. So let's see if we can read what's here. So what we're going to do first, <coughs> you want to download the STM multi boot STM multi boot master uh, zip file from Mike's um, GitHub uh, page, uh, which he linked. He linked in the RC forums thread. Uh, okay, then we extract it, and we'll get this folder here. The thing is, you will have to create a folder called STM boot, which is the name of the ino file, because you have to put all these files inside inside a folder with this name here, right? Otherwise, the the Arduino ID will not compile the uh, f the bootloader correctly. So now you clean click on the ino file stm boot ino. Have to wait until this uh, loads. It loaded in the other window. <coughs> now we have to go to the configuration to tools. And uh, make sure that the board is set to generic generic STM thirty two F one hundred three C series variant is the one hundred twenty eight K flash version, and make sure that the upload meet method is set to serial. Yeah. So now we're not going to flash this. Uh, I know that Mike says that we could flash this using the ID, but I, it didn't work for me and I actually don't like it. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just go to sketch and using and click on export compiled binary. And it will place it compile the binary and it will put place it in the in the, the the folder from the that same folder that we saw before so if I put it there it's compiling done compiling so it sh we should have a binary here now is this as you can see let's see that's a boot you know here it is so so now what we're going to do, now I'm going to use the, the STM demonstrator GUI, the tool to flash the bootloader to the radio. So i go here somewhere, let me see if I I'm using my phone to film. So I got the demonstrator GUI here. I already got, I already have the FTDI plus my adapter connected to the radio SB and I did some mistake I should have turned the radio on before now I have to turn radio on and I didn't this adapter is ex you can you can see how to make it uh, if needed because this has the serial connections plus the 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 boot zero, uh, the boot zero um, jumper in it, so you don't have to put jumper on the board because my board is installed uh, internally. So my multi module. So I have some I have some connectors in the back of the radio. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to try to start the the again. There you go. Radio is on. So the module should be powered. And I go here to get the, the COM port <coughs> for the radio, for the FTDI, COM in my case. And uh, I'm going to click next. It found the chip. See, it found the chip. Target is readable. 
click next to proceed next now click next again and here we have to select download to device and we have to search for the file so navigate to the folder of the sketch folder and change this to bin files here as you can see now we found the file that the compiled bootloader that we compiled using the Arduino IDE so click on it open and click next and it should flash it to the radio so flashing successfully so it's, now you should have the bootloader flashed on our radio so I'm going to turn the radio off Disconnect all this, not, should not be needed anymore. And now <clears throat> I already compiled the multi protocol code with the files that the, uh, that um, Mike posted as well. Plus, I had to um, create an option the check for bootloader option on the configuration file of the multi protocol code. So, well, what we have to do now, and it's going to be difficult while I'm filming, is to... I, I already copied the multi-protocol bin file to the SD card. Exactly as Mike explained. I created exactly as Mike explained uh, on the forum. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start it in maintenance mode. So, I have to start the radio with the trims away from each other. While I turn the radio on, let's see if I can do it. Uh, difficult. Oh, good. It did. So, ah, you have also to have the latest test version installed from uh, ER Skyline X. Latest test version installed this radio, right? So that's the first thing you should do. So now I'm going to update multi. Sorry, it's difficult to film and things. So now my module, my multi module is connected to COM port 2, not COM port 1. I haven't done this, so this video is, is the first time I do it to this module. So change it to COM port 2. Invert COM port. No, I don't think it's needed, but we will see. I hope this flashes. Uh, so now we go to update. Yeah, click on update and we have to select the file the multi protocol file we have to find it I put here I named it the multi stm32 for bootloader there's another one there but never mind about it so you can name it name it as you want but make don't make the name too Big. So I'm gonna click long. He's asking me if I want to flash. Yes. No, it failed. Why? No. Well, I'm gonna have to stop this video here now. Okay. Um. I forgot. I forgot to. Uh, change this to internal I had set it to external external module let's see if it works this time so go to update again let's hope I don't know if I have to invert the com port or not so update select the file again uh, where is it sorry about this phone it's a bit difficult always going out of focus so this file and let's see what it does it's flashing look it's flashing takes a little while flashing complete it looks like so let's let's cycle the radio Um, I really want to power cycle it. Throttle is not in a safe position. 
Let's power cycle it and see. Welcome to ER Sky 9X. Chirsen CX10. Let's see now. I've got, a, got my little Chirsen CX10 here. Let's see if it works. If the module was flashed. Uh, let's turn it on. Let's bind it by the trainer button. Well, it bound. Let's see if it works. Boy! So, we flashed our my internal STM32 module, multi protocol module, uh, using the radio itself. Mike, thanks a lot. This is absolutely amazing.